Well, folks, we got another Gerber for you here today. We're going to be doing a full review for you on the 39 series pocket knife from Gerber. Now, this is in honor of 1939 when the company was originally founded and established. And what we're looking at here is a really classy looking compact gentleman's folder, grandpa folder. This style is becoming very popular right now with a lot of people. And this came out on the market, I believe, last year. We got a lot going on with this little lockback design, nail nick, blade. We got a clear coat, kind of bronze coating on there. Very simple, very classy looking design. We're gonna run it through its paces today. See, is this a really classy looking grandpa style, classy gentleman's folder for you? Is it functional? Does it get the job done? Is it well designed? And whether or not this would be a great EDC knife for you. We're gonna talk about that today. With that, guys, let's go ahead, roll in some awesome blade footage of this little guy tearing through some EDC material that you would run into on your everyday life and see what, how it can perform. And we'll hop to the table and see what this baby has to offer as we break it down. rubberized material here. All right, the business end of this knife. Very simple, very classic, and that's why I gravitate to it. It's got a very slight drop point, great belly right here. From the handle to the tip, we're looking at 2.75 inches with an actual cutting edge of about 2.44, 2.45, so just a hair under a half, two and a half inches. So this is definitely an EDC knife. You know, this isn't like a self-defense knife. I wouldn't really even call it an outdoors or camping knife. It's just too compact to really get a lot of those tasks done. This is for opening packaging, cutting man-made material, cordage, zip ties, you know, that type of stuff around the office, around your home that type of a thing and just out in your daily living. That's what it's gonna be good at, that's what it's gonna excel at, opening packaging, that type of thing. So we got a full flat grind here on 420 high carbon steel, USA made. Now I have used uh, 420 on several Gerber products. I've been pleased with its performance. They do a good heat treat on it for what it is. It is not, it's a budget steel and you're paying for the knife overall, really a budget price in comparison to what is out there. You know, maybe like a Sandvik steel would have been nicer to see, obviously, um, but obviously the price would have gone up with that. But uh, it means that it is somewhat rust resistant. It's very easy to get an edge back on it and it will hold a decent edge. It's not gonna have great wear resistance. You know, after several runs through maybe like three, four cardboard boxes, you're gonna begin to see it start to drag, that type of a thing. But again, it's very easy for you to tune up. And at the price point, it's very comparable to what else is out there in this design. Now, in the Series 39 that we are looking at, they do have some other color combinations on the handles we're gonna discuss, but they also have a different Different version that still has the same kind of styling but that has thumb studs it has I believe a hollow grind it's slightly longer at three inches overall and it does come with a tip down pocket clip so there are those options there if you kind of like this style but you still prefer thumb studs and you maybe want a slightly different grind and you're wanting uh, a pocket clip there are those options and we'll have links in the description below but they're about ten dollars in uh, up in price, so they're about ten dollars more. But overall, guys, for the performance, very pleased. Great slicer. It's a zero point nine nine on the thickness, and with that full flat grind and the good razor edge you can get with 420 high carbon very easily. This makes it a fantastic slicer when you are doing those EDC tasks, whatever the man-made material for the most part you may be putting up against this or food that you may be cutting. It's going to do a fantastic job with those more compact, detailed work and work environment. 
Now the handle is one of the most standout features, I believe, of this knife. There's a lot of drop point nail nick, you know, blades. It's elegant, it's classic, but it's nothing new. This handle, on the other hand, definitely offers something a little bit different. What we're looking at is a zinc material that has been sprayed with clear coat. This is their bronze coating and then oven cured. There is a black coating and then I believe they have kind of almost like an ivory, even possibly a satin. So I've seen several different versions. I really like this one, kind of stands out from the crowd with that clear coat and that clear coat though slick does have slight texturing but then just the zinc material i don't know if i own another knife or have ever reviewed another knife that has zinc material for the handle so that's very nice every angle has been rounded and machined so it is very nice it's got some, even a little bit of uh, a swell in the handle, you know, it's not just flat like most pocket knives are, which is again, just really cool. And the aesthetics, as well as the ergonomics for the size of knife feel fantastic. I really like the overall ergonomics. I wear large size gloves and uh, you can see there behind the joint kind of hump right there. I can get all my fingers on to the handle, which is really nice to see there. Now it's going to weigh uh, 3.4 ounces on my scale, which is a little bit heavier for this size, but and, and I'm talking about all pocket knives of sub three inches, but for lockback classic nail nicks, again, we're looking at other Gerbers from the past, as well as like buck knives, like the 110, the, the 112, they tend to be a little bit heavier just because of the handle material. Still under four ounces, which is a good overall carry weight, but it is heavy for the class of sub three inch blades. So just something to consider there. The overall length from front to back here is gonna be 3.75 inches, overall and then it is half an inch thick overall there and then we have that awesome logo engraved in there on the joint cover which is really nice with those nice pivot screws right there now the one thing that i would comment on is that there is no lanyard hole and it doesn't come with either the option or availability from everything i'm seeing for any sort of leather pouch or sheath i think that would be awesome to see gerber in the future this is another lockback i'm also filming tonight um, this, it would be awesome for them to come out with this as an aftermarket, you know, um, from Gerber with maybe their logo, you know, embossed on a leather for something like this. But, um, I'm going to have to go look for something, you know, somebody to make me a leather sheath for this, um, or to have a lanyard hole or both would be great. I think that would have been awesome. And in the future, when they do more designs, I'm sure down the line that are similar to this, I'd love to just see a lanyard hole there and the availability for a leather sheath would just kick it up a notch because of how slick it is. And because of its overall size, you know, you're really gonna have to either get a leather pouch that's aftermarket, that's either custom, or there are some companies out there, and I may even have links in the description below that you could fit this knife in there, um, or you're just gonna really have to keep track of it with it in your pocket. So just things to consider. It will fit nicely inside your coin pocket of your jeans though. Um, but you, again, you'll just have to be careful that it doesn't fall out when you sit down. But overall, great ergonomics for the compact size and very cool uh, zinc material with a clear coat coating. Now to the deployment and lockup. Now this is, as I have seen, said, and you've seen in this video so far, a nail nick that is not able to be deployed one-handed. This is definitely a two-handed opening knife. So those of you overseas uh, in other countries, this will be legal in many different countries, uh, which is awesome for those of you overseas viewers. And again, very classic with that nail nick. And again, for those of you who are wanting this kind of styling, but you want thumb studs and you want a pocket clip, there is that option as well, links below. So there is that, but this is definitely a two-handed deployment. Very smooth though, and that is because of the bronze bushings, huge bronze bushings that we have in there. Very nice to see. That just shows a level of quality that they're not nylon or Teflon or none, you know, which is really nice to see that. So very, very smooth overall. And when I close it, and for those of you who saw my computer video, you know that there was issues with the blade depressing and then causing some damage to the blade. There is no damage happening at all. And I've been carrying this for several weeks now on a regular basis, lots of opening closing, wanted to make sure that that wasn't an issue. And uh, I actually have to depress the blade quite a bit for it to begin to even touch the handle or any sort of mechanisms in there or anything like that. Even though this is the exact same locking mechanism from everything I can tell, there is zero damage happening to the blade, which is very, very good to see. And just a really good solid deployment as well as closing. And then that nice solid lockup with that three, th two thirds um, back, 
maybe last quarter, if we will say, um, where the locking mechanism actually is, you know, versus the center where most modern lock backs are now, but a very solid lockup when you deploy that. No play left and right, zero play up and down. So very solid lockup, but also easy to depress and close. It's not stiff back there. And just overall, really, again, it feels and is, from everything I'm seeing, a very high quality piece for the price of about $40. You are getting a very, very functional, very high-end product in the sense that it doesn't feel like they skipped anything. It feels like every single detail was hit and it does stand out from the crowd, again, with the zinc handle and the clear coat options, the, the engraving right there, and then just the overall comfortability in the ergonomics is nice and fun for those basic EDC tasks. So folks, the price on this thing is gonna be about 35 to $45, just depending on who, what, when, where, why. And for everything that I'm seeing here that's very competitive on the market, USA made, 420 high carbon, and then we're looking at a lockback design, you're gonna see that out of a lot of Kershaws that are made in the US with 420. You're gonna see that with Bucks. They're all gonna be in that like 35 to $45 price point. So it's very competitive. And then on top of that, you are getting some cool flare features and just kind of aesthetic features that make it stand out from the crowd. It definitely feels very solid, very high quality. You're getting those bronze bushings in there. You got that really cool logo embossing right there and just that joint, all of that, the clear coat that they went with instead of just doing, you know, like a, a wood or something like that, which is fine, but I mean, lots of knives have that in this style. So they have this kind of totally different style is really cool. And definitely for me in this lock back, old school nail nick type of knife stands out from the crowd. So that price point I think is very reasonable. We will have links in the description below over to Amazon with this knife, as well as a few other blades of similar design for you guys to take a look at. When you use those hyperlinks, that's always a great way to help support the channel. Now, I do wanna also thank Gerber for their willingness to talk with me and work with me with this video because I did a review on the Gerber Commuter a little while ago and I had a really hard time with that knife. Bought two, two of them, they had a, a consistent similar issue and uh, based off of that, Gerber talked with me, we discussed that issue. They're looking into the commuter and seeing what's going on with that and the issue that I had. But they said, in the meantime, let's go ahead and send you another similar blade with very similar features so that you can take a look at it, see if you like that and how it performs for you in that capacity. And so this has the exact same locking mechanism. This has the exact same kind of style, very similar blade, but this is holding up much better. It's designed, in my opinion, in a much, uh, higher fit and finish and just higher quality level that I'm seeing. So I wanna again, thank Gerber for their willingness to talk with us based off of that problem with the commuter and giving us the opportunity to review this knife, the 39 series blade for you guys, the viewers, so you guys can make a decision when you're looking at classic lockback designs. Well, folks, time for us to bring this video to a close, give you my final thoughts. I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed with this design. It's just really stands out from the crowd for me. Um, in this style, I've said that a few times throughout the video. It's fully functional, I have zero problems, no issues at all, very solid, holds a decent edge for that 420 high carbon, and just gives me a feeling of something classy. And overall, if you're looking for just that compact, old school style knife, I think it's a great gift knife, you know, maybe to gift your buddies at a wedding, um, you know, maybe uh, your dad or your grandpa was really into Gerber knives, you know, back in the day, and that was their hunting knife or something like that, and they have a lot of memories with Gerber, this would be a great knife to give as a gift that way, or you're just into this old school classic style, I think it's definitely a solid competitor on the market. So, I wanna thank you guys so much for coming over here today, checking out the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. I'll answer any questions that I can down in the description below. Check us out on all the relevant social media as well. It's a great way to see what's up and coming. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.